Okay, so experiment two was culturing microorganisms from the environment. And it's a short one, so we have a short video. So the purpose, of this, the purpose of this experiment was to show how bacteria is practically everywhere. Um, and so what we did was we took a swab and moistened it in trip decay soy broth, which is the same thing as, trip, as the TSA plate, just in broth form. And we took a swab and moistened it, and then we rubbed it in various locations. Some of you rubbed it on the floor, others fingers, uh, sinks, clothes, hair, air, dirt in the lab, or mouth or nose. Um, and what you did was you swabbed those areas and then you took that swab and then rubbed it on the TSA plate. And then we put it in the incubator, inverted, and we let it sit. And growth appeared kind of like this in that you have just random stuff all over the place. Um, and what this shows is that microorganisms are, are practically gr do grow everywhere. Um, even though bacteria are everywhere though, most of these bacteria are non-pathogenic. So uh, they won't cause diseases when a person comes into contact with them. Um, the only thing is if you are sick or have a weak immune system, then you do have a higher risk of getting infected. So you want to make sure to get plenty of sleep, even though you still have to study for your midterm in this class, because when you don't sleep, you weaken your immune system and you can get sick like some people do after finals. The only last thing is that in the lab manual, it says that uh, a hospital acquired infection is called a nosocomial infection, um, which I guess is fitting. And so it fits there, but I didn't know how to incorporate it. So yeah, short video. I'll see you later.